Hello, welcome to Banter Quiz. In this show, we have 10 questions. You get all 10 correctly, you go home with 1 million naira, guaranteed. Every correct answer earns you 25,000 naira. Say you get the first three questions correctly, that's 75,000 naira in the bank for you. And also, one lifeline. A lifeline gives you the chance to give it a second shot. Say you get the first three right, as I said earlier, and you miss the fourth one. You can borrow from your lifeline to repeat the fourth question that you miss. And if you get it right, you continue your journey. We have here today with me, Harmony. How are you, Harmony? I'm fine, good morning. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Question one. Which is the fourth largest economy in Asia? India. They find answer. Yes, India. That is incorrect. Um, China is number one. I think Japan and India are almost second. They're fighting it now. The fourth is South Korea. Question two. What does the acronym HTML stand for? Okay, hypertext markup language. Perfect, that is correct. Question three, what country is the origin of Guinness? The start there, Guinness. Ireland. Perfect, that's correct. You didn't even have to wait for it, you just nailed it right away. That's perfect. Question four, before we continue, you've nailed 50,000 so far. You've got three questions, two right, one incorrect. That's fine, let's keep going on. Question four, what is the process by which a liquid changes into gas? Mm. <sighs> Evaporation. Perfect, that is correct. That is correct. You got it right. You went too short, but you knew it. <laughs> correct. Four questions, three correct. Awesome, awesome, you're doing great. So, <sighs> the, don't come here and win out the money. Would you want to just give a check on a thousand and you go home? Then it's done? Let's continue. It I, looks, already, it I already feel like, the one. I already, feel, like I already it, feel number one. So. It looks like you get the whole thing. Okay, okay, you failed the first one. I failed the first one. So. Let's continue. Question five. What does the acronym WLAN stand for? Um, I can't remember the meaning of W, but I don't know if it's wireless local area network. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> You nailed it perfect. Yeah. Question six. Ready to go? From um, Harmony? Let's do it. Question six. Which is the only continent with land in all four hemispheres? The only continent with land. I think Australia. Is that your final answer? In all it's four left time. hemispheres. Mm. I think I'll go with Australia. Australia is incorrect. Oh. Africa it is. Because oh. when you look at Africa, it's here like here and that hemisphere line. So South America, North America, Europe, Africa is literally crossing all the for that at that crisp point. So Africa's there. Yeah. Okay. I think it's the second to the pressure. You just got you a bit confused. Let's continue. Question seven. What is the largest Spanish speaking city in the world? Time. Madrid. Is that your final answer? That is... That is all I can think of. Madrid is a response and Madrid is fantastically incorrect. Because Spain is just about, I think, 40 million? Oh, 30, 40, Mexico. 40 million. Mex okay. You see, you knew it already. Mexico is no, 100 I, plus million. I just saw it now, so... Yeah, Mexico is over 100 million. So Mexico City, you see. Yeah, so let's move on to the next one. So, question eight. What does the acronym MPEG stand for? I don't know. Nah. Do you want to any guess? Should anything? Because you have some time. I can't really think of... I have no clue either. I'm just reading it. I have no clue. Motion Picture Expert Group. I've never heard that. I've, I've never heard it either. <laughs> no clue. It's <Like, laughs> the first time I'm saying it. Question nine, how many stars are on Chinese flag? <laughs> now what? Sorry. <sighs> Good. 
None. Zero. It should be five. The last question is, what does the acronym UPS stand for? Um, uninterruptible power supply. Absolutely correct. That's the tenth question and you got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, unfortunately you got five wrong and five right, but yeah. Thank, Thank you for you. coming home. Thanks Thank so you. much. Hello, welcome back. We have here Sheriff. How are you, Sheriff? Fine. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I've never had a bad day in my life, you know? Let's do it. What part of the brain is responsible for regulating sleep? What are my options? We don't have options. Some come up, some don't. Pass. I don't know. Yeah. I have no clue. Even to pronounce it, it's, it's simply the problem. Hypothalamus. It's oh my god. <laughs> do, you, do you know it? No. I said, okay. I thought you said you <laughs> No worries. Question two What year did Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwela become WTO Director General? Two thousand and thirteen. Is that your final answer? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Was she not the Minister of Finance in Nigeria in 2013? Jonathan was the president then. Yeah. She was still in Nigeria then. Yeah, she was. It could have been well, 2013. Well, I, I can't really remember. 2021. Oh. 1st of March, 2021. Was that late? <laughs> yeah, I think it was. It was. Yeah, because it was just recently, I think. <laughs> Again, note all the questions here. If on request, you can request. We have your card, your call card. We send it to you, you cross check the answer. If anything is wrong, we will compensate you 250,000. Right. Guaranteed. That's, right. that's, we, so nothing is, we just request our, it's, we, it's we random. Us, yeah, it's random. We, we will screenshot your name or your board, share it with you, and you see your answers and all your questions. All right, next, next question. There's, there's, there's nothing. Yeah. So, number three, what is the former name of Thailand? Us. I believe it was 1939 when it was changed. It was, it's Siam, S I A M. Siam. Yeah. Even if you go to Bangkok, Tha Thailand, you, you see, see many areas, Siam, Siam. I, I remember this. So, question four Who is the governor of Jigawa State? Again, I don't have options. There's no options. Some question comes, some does. Did you? Let me not interrupt your time. That's your time. We can give another 15 seconds. Go again. Start again. 15 seconds again. Bala. Bala is incorrect. Okay. The name is Umar Namadi. So... Question five, who was the minister of FCT from 1999 to 2001? Again, no options. We don't have options. Some come up, some don't. I think it was during a passenger, right? 1999, she must be a passenger sign. Ibrahim Bono, time out. Question six, how long is pension paid after retirement in Nigeria? Six months. Is that final answer? Yes, six months. It's 10 years. I, I don't think this is fair. Why would somebody work all their life and you pay them for just 10 years? Question seven, what game is called the sport 
of Kings. Football. Is that your final answer? Game or game or game it's, game. It's there. Football. Polo. Huh? Question nine. What does the acronym GCFR mean in Nigeria? GCFR. Yeah. It should be a... Pass. This was, that's the commander, the grand commander of Order of the Federal Republic. So, grand commander yeah. of forces. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so because he's the commander in chief of the armed forces, all of them. So oh. they call it the GC GCFR. So who is the current upper of Lagos State? Question 10. Rilwong Akiolo. I had no clue either. <sighs> Sheriff, it was a pleasure. You give it your best. Um, right. Nice one. Welcome back. We have here Faru. How are you, Faru? I'm doing great. The questions here are about a lot about countries. Is that your area of strength? Let's <laughs> let's see how we do. Okay. Question one: What is the largest city in Europe by population? It's on the screen there. In Europe, Moscow. Perfect. It's Moscow. I like that. Moscow. Like Faru knew. Like you didn't even hesitate. Number two. Name three countries in Europe where French is the official language. Monaco, Belgium, France. You are absolutely correct. That's Potter. So, question three. Nigeria is named after what? The River Niger. River Niger, correct. Three questions, three right answer. Perfect. Question four. What is the capital of Lithuania? Lithuania. Pass. Yeah, that's a tricky one. It's former Soviet countries, such a tiny, tiny, tiny countries. Well, my best friend is from there, actually. Oh, no. That's why I know it. It's not because I, I know it. So Vilnius is the capital of Lithuania. Vilnius. Question five. What is a baby goat called? A kid. Spot on, spot on, spot on. I love this. This is great. Great stuff. Question six. What does Los Angeles mean in English? The angels. The angels. Perfect. Yeah, you didn't even go city of angels. Could people call it? Slow people say that. But you get the accurate response, which is great. For awesome stuff. Question seven. What is the largest city in the US? New York. New York City. I accept New York City. New York has New York City. It's correct. I'll take it. Great answer, Farouk. You're doing great. Question eight. What are the New England states in the US? Huh. Massachusetts, Maine, Rhode Island. I tap out there. So you got, don't put the answer yet. You got three of them right. Do you want to use the lifeline together? Because I want you to continue. How many this. are there in total? There should be six. I'll give you that tip. You've done so well, like, really. So you got those three right. You could use the lifeline to get the other three. This is a pass. I'll grant it for you. Then you use the lifeline. Okay. I'll grant you that answer. It's correct. Question nine. Name two Facebook co-founders other than Mark Zuckerberg. Dustin Mokovitz. Sean Parker. You got Dustin Mokovic, not 
put the answer out. You're not the other one. I want to come eat it. You you know it. You just I think the time the time factor. You really know it. Yeah. You know, Dustin Markov is correct. You're right, but the other one wrong, and your lifeline is out of it yet. But you did great. You really tried. Honestly, that this is amazing. You're doing so well. Question 10, how many countries does the U.S. have land border with? Mexico and Canada. Spot on. We have an amazing score here. Amazing, Farouk. Amazing. I have to say, amazing stuff. You're a brilliant man. Amazing, amazing stuff. You got only two wrong. You got eight right. And that, that should give you 200,000 naira. Get a check. It's amazing. And I found out for, about Bantu through a friend forwarded a YouTube link, I guess, which is how I saw about it, and then I went ahead to register. Oh, the show, the show was awesome. It was, well, I went there and they threw questions at me, and surprisingly, I knew some of them because I read randomly. So maybe I knew a lot of random stuff, and then the knock of the draw, I happened to get questions that were that suited me. Because sometimes you have to be lucky in things like this. Yeah, I, um, I got eight questions correct, and I won two hundred thousand. On top of the research, read around and try and register, they might get lucky just like I did.